guys and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share a haul video with you guys. I know I kind of said that I wouldn't do haul videos at all, I think I said, but I really think that they're not going to be a regular feature on here, but I think every now and then a collective haul is quite useful. I am really, really trying to shop more consciously. That doesn't mean that there's no fast fashion in here. There is a little bit of fast fashion, which I will talk about. Like moving away from fast fashion is a slow process. Because I do post quite a lot on Instagram, I think sometimes i do need to have a bit of fast fashion in there i think realistically not everyone can afford to not shop fast fashion and um, myself included i don't ha realistically have the money to spend 300 pounds on a dress that is not a fast fashion brand i think there are alternatives but maybe the most sustainable brands are those that are charging quite a premium price and that's not always a price that i can personally afford and i think that applies to a lot of other people i really truly think that i Oh, I buy so much less than I used to and I'm embarrassed by the amount of, of, of stuff that I used to buy I'm Trying to shop secondhand as much as possible. Some of these items are secondhand. I'm going to show you I've got some, sh some charity shop bits here some eBay bits But then I do have some more eco brands and a couple of fashion fast fashion bits But it makes it means that this is a very varied video and I really hope you do enjoy it So the first thing I'm going to start with is my new necklace. I don't know if you can really see it But I'll put in some cutaways. It's actually not a new necklace. The chain is the same. I have ordered a new necklace but um it was out of stock and so i'm just waiting for it to come in but it's really really beautiful and i'm really looking forward to it oh this is my favorite jumper but it's really really old i hope it doesn't look too bad this is from monica vinida i really really like monica vinida you are paying a slightly more premium price but i don't think it's like wildly expensive and i've had very very good experience with the brand even not as a content creator or whatever the reason i got this one this was gifted by the way uh, some of the items here are gifted and i will mention that but this item here was to replace my disc that i used to wear every single day i think i wore that every day for like three years i really really loved it and this chain is actually the one that i usually wear with that and i think i will carry on wearing that but at the moment because i only have this one chain i've switched it for this new one this is a little bit smaller than i expected i mean i'm sure the measurements were online i didn't check um it would be nice if it was a little bit bigger but i'm really really happy with it i think monica vinegar as a whole i just think it's a great brand the reason i'm a big fan is because once oh, once i lost the back of my earrings and i asked if i could buy a new back and they just they just sent me one which is very very nice another time i found that my disc was becoming a little discolored because i wore it so much and they also replaced the disc which is very nice so i just think it's great every piece comes with a five-year warranty so i would highly recommend monica vanilla if I, I think i've actually got a discount code so if i do i'll leave that here and if you want the disc so i know the disc was very very popular that i used to wear i have a smaller version i still love it it's just that i wore it so much that it's nice to have something new and um, i will link this one as well i also got a little pearl which i love but um, i just love it and i will link the chain that i'm waiting for as well which is just beautiful and i just think this is a great little layering piece at the moment i have like just two like cheaper chains on um, and i've just got this one on top and i just think it works really nicely and i think i'll wear it like throughout the year as well this is basically going to replace the disc as my everyday necklace i do think that sometimes i will be wearing the pearl as well but i think the pearl doesn't really go as well with like lighter colors um but it looks beautiful with like a, a dark top or even in the summer i think it looks really nice on the skin but let's move on to a few other bits. I do have quite a lot. I'm trying to work out where we should go. Okay, let's do these trousers. I'm going to put in some cutaways. But I picked up these, tra these trousers from H&M. I picked up quite a lot of trousers recently from um, ASOS. And I also picked up quite... I also picked up this dress, which was just beautiful. I will insert a picture and I will link it. But... I returned it because I was happy to kind of go elsewhere and look for something that was a tiny bit more ethical. And I know H&M is a, is a high street brand and I know H&M has been accused a lot of, of greenwashing. And although I think that's true, personally, I'm still quite comfortable shopping in H&M. Maybe not as much as I used to and I will kind of try to shop there less. But compared to other high street brands, I think H&M is okay. Compared to like the likes of Zara, which they just churn out. I think Zara has made like zero effort from what I can see to go a little bit greener. Whereas, yes... I know like the conscious range and stuff from HO is kind of greenwashing as they're still a fast fashion brand, but I think at least the effort is there, which I don't see from the likes of Zara. So for me personally, I'm a little bit more comfortable shopping at H&M and I probably will shop there a little bit. So I picked up these trousers. I actually picked up three pairs of trousers and these are the ones that I kept. I think if you are after a pair of like wide leg trousers like these, just go into store or order like a few different pairs and try them on because I think you need to find the right pair for you. I don't think these will work for everyone, but I'm five foot seven. They are the perfect height on me. Um, the material obviously isn't the greatest. They're a little bit like shiny and I suspect they're just polyester. And I am particularly trying to be careful with the 
with the materials I buy but I really wanted a pair of trousers like this and I'm really struggling to find any that are like remotely affordable and made of like cotton or something like that. I am quite happy with them. I'm planning to just wear them with like Converse and like a jumper and try and make them like as casual as possible. I think I might end up getting a light pair if they do them. I don't think they do them at the moment but if they come in with a light pair I'm going to get them. They have other ones which are like really baggy which I don't really like on me and they have another pair which for some reason didn't look as good. I think they're a bit short on me, the other ones. Whereas these are just like the perfect height. They fit really well. They have an elastic on the back, which I really like. And I just think generally they fit a bit nicer. And I'm really, really happy with them. And I think they will, they might become like my everyday trouser instead of jeans. So very, very happy with these. Trying to work out where to go now. Let's do my new favourite coat. I've had this for a little while, maybe like two months. But like I said, I don't really film hauls anymore. So I haven't had a chance to share this. Oh my god, my hanger says blue ink on it. This hanger must have been my boyfriend from years ago. But that's very funny. I'll switch it for a pink hanger. But I just love this coat. You may have seen me wear this on Instagram. I wear this a lot. I just think this is the perfect colour. Um, it's a really like nice green. It's not too green. It's It's... I don't know. Like sometimes they're really green, whereas this is like a dark, more wearable green in my opinion. All the hardware is gold, which I really, really love because I really do like gold. Um, I just think it looks quite expensive, but it's not wildly expensive. This one was gifted to me, by the way. It's got a hood. This is my first coat with a hood in years. So I am overjoyed with it. I wear it almost every day. Occasionally I will wear another one, but this is my favorite coat at the moment. And I think my favorite coat I got this year I, I didn't get that many but I got a couple and this is by far my favorite and my most worn and also from Love and Roses I have this dress which I love I really really do I think it's a dress that I'll have for a really long time again with this coat I think I'll have it a really long time and this dress also a really nice shape I think Love and Roses do a beautiful beautiful shape um, and I like this one because it's a nice length it's a midi um, I like the v-neck but it's not like too revealing um, it's got like a nice like collar detail I just really like the pattern to be honest it's really very versatile I think in the summer the colours look summery and in the winter it almost looks like <sighs> sequiny I know that sounds crazy but I just think it just it looks festive as well as summery, even though it's on like a black background. I really just think it's very versatile. And I think it's a dress I will wear loads. I think you can wear it with boots, I think you can wear it with trainers, I think you can wear it with heels. I think you can just do whatever you want with it. You could wear a jumper over it. Um, just, I think it's really versatile. And I'm really, really over the moon with it. And then I have two dresses, which my mum also asked if they were from Love and Roses. I have a few Love and Roses dresses. And I think they, um, shape-wise, they're really, really lovely. But they are more of a fast fashion brand. Whereas... I have these two from Nobody's Child. Shape-wise, they are beautiful and they are really very affordable. I really think Nobody's Child might be like my next, my, my new favourite brand um, because they are a little bit more eco-conscious than most of the brands we see on the high street. They are very affordable. I think some of, I think one of these dresses, maybe the front one, is like £40 or thereabout, which I think is a really great price for a dress because um, it's not so, it's not ridiculously cheap. Um, it's not wildly expensive because I would love to be buying, I don't know, Rixo dresses, but they're like in the two, three hundred pounds. If you're looking for something a bit more affordable, but yet a little bit more sustainable, then I definitely think um, Nobody's Child is the way to go. Let's talk about this one first because I've worn this one. I have a tag on it. I have this awful habit of wearing things and forgetting to take the tag off, but this was gifted to me. But it was on my birthday. This is actually the Pippa dress and it's in the saffron floral, saffron floral pattern. I just love it. Again, I think I'm going to be wearing this in winter, like now, and then into summer. I, I really like the colours. I think it's fun. I think this sort of um, pattern is very, very popular at the moment, but I still think it will remain relatively timeless. I like the sleeve detailing. I just love it. Um, I have worn it to prove it. I have avocado on mine. So mine needs to go in the wash after I film this. I don't know. It's only dirty there. I might try and spot clean it because, again, I'm trying not to wash my clothes too much. Let's see what this is made out of. So this is made out of something called lensing which is a viscose but it's actually m made from certified renewable wood wood sources which um kind of blows my mind but is great to hear and that's kind of the sort of things i want to start seeing on my tags more often um i don't know that much about nobody's child but they seem to be making a bit of an effort and that's what i want especially from these like more affordable brands so yeah i, I think expect to see a lot more nobody's child from me and then i also picked I, again it was gifted but i picked this dress I just loved it. I like the green. I really want to start wearing a bit more colour. Um, and I just love the strawberry print, to be honest. And I think it's a really beautiful shape. Again, this kind of shape really suits me. It's wasted, basically. And then it's more of an A-line. I think it's 
it's very flattering it has buttons as soon as i like took this out to put it on i was like crap like i cannot wear things with buttons because i am a bit curvier and have like a small waist so i find that buttons really pull but that doesn't happen with this like i can sit in this and i don't find that they pull and i think it is an attention to detail the buttons are quite close together sorry i haven't done them up in the middle but you can see down here the buttons are quite close together and i think that is great especially at this price point because sometimes i find that they get a bit like stingy with the buttons and it makes it really unflattering i also like that one of the buttons is red um you know it has like a strawberry print on it there's just like little attention to detail on these that i think is great especially at this price point like i said like it's slightly pleated here which makes it a little bit more flattering and i just really like this and because it's got buttons if you want you can kind of have it a bit more open and uh, i guess you could have it a bit more open here but I, I meant down at the bottom like if it is summer you can have your leg out if you fancy which i quite like and i really think this is a dress that i will get so much wear out this summer but they have both of these dresses in lots of other patterns so if you like the shape of these but you don't like the the print that i personally should, chose have a look online and they also have a shop on carnaby street which i think is worth noting i'm really very excited about these i have two charity shop items one of them is a blouse now honestly i'm a bit unsure if i'm going to keep this one i might send it back to charity shop but i think i'm gonna have it in my wardrobe for a little bit of time because this is from never fully dressed and i have wanted this shirt for the longest time it comes with a matching skirt i never bought it because it, for me it felt a bit expensive i think they're about 70 pounds and i've never spent 70 pounds on a shirt but then i spotted this in the charity shop and i was like oh like do i get it do i not get it i got it in north london hospice shop i paid three pounds 75 it's a size medium and as far as i can tell it's in good condition and um, i haven't tried it on and i don't know if i'm keeping it yet in the shop i was really really indecisive about whether i should even buy it but i just feel like it's a dress that i wanted for such a long uh, a dress a top i wanted for such a long time that i really like i had to buy it and just bring it home and decide um and because i only paid like three pounds 75 even if i do just send it back to charity i'll just take it as like a four pound donation to charity um, like it's really not a big deal i don't know i'm gonna i need to just, like try it on and decide if i want to keep it i think i will keep it for a little bit at least I am happy with it. I think it was a good find. I would love to like shop more at charity shops. It's just very time consuming compared to just shopping on the high street or online. Um, because I feel like at the high street and online you're guaranteed to find something you'll like. Almost. I mean, not always. Um, but um, it's, it's that little bit easier. Like if I wanted a leopard print blouse in a, in a shop, I could probably find one. Whereas in a charity shop, you kind of have to be A, more open to trying different things and B, um, it's more time consuming because it's just hard to find. I don't want to put interior in here, but since I bought one pillow, I thought I'd show you a cushion, sorry. I confuse cushions and pillows so much and it drives some of my family crazy. But this is um, a VNA print. I think I paid like £2.50 for this. I saw it and I was a bit unsure because it, is, it isn't it is like embroidered or anything. It is just like a print, but I think it's quite nice. I really like the piping and that's what um, caught my eye the most. I like the colors. I'm trying to add more color to my life um generally not just to my wardrobe um and i opened it up in the shop had a little look inside and it was completely clean so i couldn't resist it and i bought it and i'm actually very happy with it and had they had two i probably would have bought, bought two next i um, will talk about my my first ever do i think it's my first ever potentially my first ever clothing ebay purchase and i think it's actually my first ever secondhand shoe purchase um but i really want to pair doc martins i saw them on um Brittany Bathgate and she looks really cool in hers and I knew exactly what I wanted and I think it was like last year uh, Mike and I both went in to try them on in the Doc Martens in Camden um, and we were like do we don't we do we don't we and then I spotted these on eBay and actually you know what I've actually bought M&S cashmere jumpers from eBay um, but I don't know like I, I never felt I get that good of a deal to like warrant shopping on eBay um, I try to just like shop in charity shops instead but I wanted something very specific and I spotted these and these are the mono 41461 um, mono Doc Martin shoes they're not the boots as you can tell and I think I paid 30 pounds for these and turns out the girl who was selling them lived around the corner from me and she had delivered them like the next day so it was great and um, I think she had them up for 40 but I sent her a message and I was like look like 40 is a little bit expensive for me because um, I was a bit unsure about them will you take 30 and she said yes because i think she'd had them up for a while um they in the picture it looked like they had like a really big scuff mark but in reality i don't think it's visible at all i haven't like polished them since then or anything like that um but you can tell like, there is a little tiny bit of a scuff mark but nothing major and i i thought you know what like doc martens are a really good quality shoe they look in good condition other than that tiny scuff on both the shoes though i'm just gonna buy them and i'm really glad i did because to be honest 
I, I'm unsure if I love them. So, but I, I still think they're a great shoe to have in my wardrobe because they're such like a good sole and just great quality that I'm glad I have them. I didn't have to wear them in. I really don't think she wore them that much because they were in great condition. Uh, and I probably haven't walked for like hours, but equally I haven't had any issues with them. But I don't know, I have worn them a fair amount to be honest, but I've never like put them on and like loved them. Maybe they're not my style of shoe. I'm wondering if maybe I should have gone for the ones that weren't mono because I think I prefer the yellow stitch. I'm happy I have them, but I'm really happy I didn't pay the full price for them. I think I will wear them and I, I think I'll actually have them for a long time. Certainly these are my first ever Doc Martens, but then Doc Martin kindly sent me some boots as well and I've always admired Doc Martens from afar. Um, the fact that you have to break them in really, really put me off ever buying a pair. But once I had, because I had a good experience with the last pair, I was really excited about these as well. These are the vegan ones. Um, I think you can tell by the tag, but I'm not sure. And then just like a, the standard boot style. I have mine in a size six. And honestly, I have worn them a fair amount and I really like them. They squeak though, and honestly, I don't know why they squeak. The minute I put them on, they start squeaking, um, which is a bit annoying, but I don't know why that's happening. Um, but other than that, I'm really, really happy with them. I've worn them a fair amount. They haven't caused me blisters yet, but like I said, I haven't worn them for like hours of walking. I've just kind of like walked half an hour here, half an hour there, and that's been it. But within that, I, I have found them very, very comfortable. Um, I think they're just a great boot, a great staple, and one that I will have for a long time. These are vegan. I don't know enough about vegan leather, if I'm completely honest, and it's something I really need to look into. Obviously, if you're vegan, they're great, but I wonder if vegan leather is necessarily more sustainable than non than real leather because let's be honest like people aren't killing cows to make leather they're killing cows for the meat people eat so much meat i suspect we have enough leather that's what i suspect i haven't looked enough into it but i will do but do let me know in the comments because i'm sure most of you are way more knowledgeable than i am i think i would get a lot of wear out of them i've done I, I done a little bit of research, even though they were sent to me, I kind of wanted to know, would they last? Because I didn't really want them in my wardrobe if they wouldn't. And people are saying that actually, I, I watched like a really in-depth one, and they're saying that the sole of these are actually excellent. Um, but maybe the actual leather isn't quite as good, but I still think it will last me a long time. I'll be a little bit careful with them. Um, I have like an old pair of boots, which I kind of wear for like money stuff. But otherwise, I think this would be fine for that as well. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with them. I'm very happy with both my Doc Martens. They seem like a bit of an investment, but everyone I know has had a, that has Doc Martens loves them and says they're a great investment. So very excited. And then I have a pair of shoes that was sent to me by a brand called Vivaya. I think that's how you pronounce them. Their kind of tagline is step into conscious, comfort, stylish and sustainable. They're made from recyclable materials and that's how they are more sustainable. It says, thank you for helping our ocean and recycling more than six plastic water bottles, preventing them from breaking into millions of microplastics and harming marine life. But I picked these and I really, really like them. I've always kind of liked um, sliders. I'm basically just really lazy. I just want a pair of shoes that I can slide onto my feet and be out the door. Never wanted to like invest in like really expensive Gucci ones and um, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I feel like they it's a bit of a trend and these might not be even now, I feel like they're not like the coolest pair of shoes, but I really like them. They are just black, they're slide, they're, they just, they don't have a back to them, so they're like mules, I guess. They have like fur on the inside, but only on the top, they don't have it on the sole, which I think is quite nice. Um, and they've been really comfortable, I've worn them a fair amount, and I've really, really enjoyed them. They have them in other colours, and they have actually quite a lot of different types of shoes. I think they're all kind of like this, um, almost like knitted material, which is nice, but just bear that in mind, because you might not like it in all the shoes, because maybe they do look a little bit more casual than, um, than, like, typical leather. But, yeah, I'm very, very happy with these, I think I'll wear them lots. At the moment, it's a tiny bit cold to wear them. Um, you could wear them with socks, but I think I prefer them with no socks. And I think like going into spring and even summer, because like, let's be honest, summer in England isn't like summer in like s south of Europe. Um, they, I think I'll get lots and lots of wear out of them. And even into autumn, I think, because I would also wear them with um, socks, I think. So really, really happy with these. And again, I think they're like relatively affordable. They're not like wildly expensive. And they are like slightly more sustainable than buying like fast fashion shoes. I'm very happy to have these in my shoe collection as well. I feel like I really, really, really rarely add new shoes to my shoe collection. And um, I've just like added three and it feels like, it, it feels weird, but I have to actually organize and declutter on my shoe collection soon. Maybe that's something I'll film. And then finally, I have two new bags. We'll start with this one, which is from MZ Wallace. Um, I haven't really had any of their bags, I don't think. And I know this is quite an out there pattern, but I really just wanted something 
fun and I think this is that um it's leopard again I do like leopard I feel like I've liked leopard more than I do now and had this been like a standard leopard I wouldn't have bought oh I wouldn't have picked this I don't think but because it is a um coloured leopard I just thought it was really fun and I like that it's got like little hearts mixed in it does come with a strap I am a tiny bit worried that I won't get enough wear out of this but I think I need to just accept that this bag will clash with everything and just start wearing it as a fun bag rather than something that's overly serious like I said I really want to add colour colour and pattern into my life and into my wardrobe and I just felt this bag was a great way to do that and hopefully you'll see me wearing this lots and then finally another bag this is a vegan leather again but honestly I wore this out on the weekend I've worn this bag a few times now and I like made all my friends feel it because it is super buttery soft I don't know how they do it but it's really really lovely this is from a brand called Fenella Smith and they have lots of other style bags but I really wanted something let me quickly throw them out of the bag I really wanted something that would kind of replace this I like this bag a lot this is from Zara it's a few years old now though I think I paid pff, like seven pounds for this in the sale in Portugal it's brown and it's quite a weird brown so it's not that versatile but I really like the size and I really like that it has this little strap so if I want to I can put it over me sorry I've got some vitamins in the bag um so when I spotted this I like immediately was drawn to it I really think it's beautiful it's a tiny bit on the small side it's, it's smaller than the other bag if I'm honest um and because it's got a um compartment on the inside my bags are a mess but it's got a compartment on the inside which makes it that little tiny bit smaller but um and it hasn't got a zip so it's not perfect but it's really really beautiful I will wear it lots I think it also came with a strap like this which I think I will use lots, but like, they have lots of different bags. So it's definitely worth having a look if you are on the market for a new bag. I'm wearing it like this if I want to go, go hands-free, but then if I want, I can just like take this off and carry it like this. I really like this strap. Yeah, overall, I'm very, very happy with this bag. Um, it doesn't have a zip, that's the only downfall, I think. And it's tight on the small side, but actually I don't think that will really bother me. Sometimes I feel like it's nice to have a small bag because it means that you carry less, um, which, Sometimes it's great, to be honest. Even when mum pointed out how beautiful this is, I think it looks really expensive. It's not. It's about the 60, 70 pound mark. Um, but like I said, it was gifted to me. Um, really lovely, well made as well. And it's just, it's just, honestly, I wish you could all feel it because it feels that lovely. But that's the end of this video. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. But I don't think I have. I think we've covered everything I've bought. That's probably the, all, everything I've bought in like the last, I want to say like, four months i really hope you enjoyed it like i said there probably won't be a lot of vlogs there probably won't be a lot of hauls from me coming up but i hope you do enjoy kind of this one-off like occasional um vlog content that's a real collective haul from everything from like high street to charity shops to slightly more sustainable brands and i hope um, it encourages you to go to charity shops and shop on ebay and to not feel too bad shopping in fast fashion i think we need to do it more consciously it's hard to make that switch over um, i honestly went into h&m and i was like wow i did not realize h&m was this cheap because i have not shopped in h&m for a really long time especially like being into store and like picked up stuff that i knew i was going to purchase um, or maybe it's gone cheaper i don't know anyway thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you all very soon bye